This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by G&G Armament, Condor Outdoor, and Echo One USA. What's up GI TV? At first glance, these guns might look exactly the same to you. However, they are a little bit different. This one in my left hand is the SRC MK36C, and this one in my right hand is the JG MK36C. Now, since they are based on the same gun, they are extremely similar. However, it's the little things that make the difference between them. For example, the SRC has three rails on its front handguard, whereas the JG only has the bottom rail. The SRC has a quick release magazine release, whereas the JG has the standard ambidextrous magazine release. On the SRC, you will find a metal flash header. On the JG, you will find a plastic one. The high caps both hold the same capacity of BBs. However, the JG has a clear plastic build material, whereas the SRC is also plastic, but it's a little bit textured and kind of hazy, so you can't really see all the way through it. Inside the SRC gun, you will find a metal hoplet, whereas the JG is plastic, and both of these guns come with an 8.4 volt nickel metal hydride battery. However, the SRC's battery is a nunchuck style battery, so it's a little bit easier to fit into the handguard. A little bit more care went into selecting that battery for the SRC, not so with the JG. However, the real question is, how do each of these perform against each other? What's up, GITV? This is just a quick reminder to always have fun when you're playing airsoft. But be safe, use common sense, and follow the law. Do not take your airsoft guns out in public, especially not to school. You don't want to be the one that gets airsoft banned for everybody, now do you? Alright, so, the corner results between these two guns are actually pretty typical. The Taiwanese-made SRC does not shoot as hard as the Chinese-made JG. However, the JG does sound like the gears could use a reshim. Now, there are two more differences between these guns that don't translate well between the camera lens. One being the texture and feel of the body. Now, because I've held a real HKG36, I can say with confidence that the SRC does feel an itty bitty bit more realistic than the JG. But the JG is just as near and makes no difference anyway. The other thing that I like in favor of the SRC is the smoothness and crispness of the fire selector. JG is a little bit sticky, although it does get the job done. Now, if you were, if you were considering both of these guns at one point, things are probably looking really good for the SRC. But you don't even know the price yet. The SRC is much more expensive at $185. For that much, you get all the features mentioned before. Battery and charger included, and a 60 days manufacturer's warranty, the longest warranty in the airsoft industry. The JG is much cheaper at $125, however it is lacking a little bit in the features department. Although it does come with a battery and charger, it is not covered under any, any warranty from the manufacturer. We do cover it though because we're airsoft GI for 15 days, so that's nice. If you were to ask me which one I would prefer, because a lot of people do, I would say the SRC is worth the extra money easily, but if it's just not within your budget, get a job. Airsoft GI TV would like to thank our sponsors, G4 Airsoft, Sistema, and Madbull Airsoft.